Unitry recently unveiled the R1 humanoid robot, priced at just $5,900, but how does the R1 base model compare to a humanoid robot like the Tesla Optimus, which could cost as much as $30,000? In this video, we'll break down the specs, features, and real-world capabilities of both robots to see which one leads in performance, autonomy, and value. Starting with the features and specs of the Tesla Optimus before moving on to the Unitree R1 and finally discussing which one is better and where each robot has the upper hand. If we begin with the Tesla Optimus robot, the recently released demo shows how the robot is gaining autonomy. The video demonstrates the robot completing a number of tasks entirely on its own without any human assistance. Tesla pointed out that the robot has been learning these capabilities through natural language instructions and by observing thousands of videos of humans performing various tasks. What makes this impressive is the fact that all these tasks were executed by a single neural net. This means Tesla's AI model, specifically a multitasking neural network, is capable of performing a wide range of tasks using one unified AI system instead of relying on multiple separate models for each specific function. This approach demonstrates how Tesla might achieve full autonomy sooner than many expect. When it comes to dimensions, the Tesla Optimus robot measures 1.73 meters tall, which is about 5 feet 8 inches. You'll later see that the R1 is much shorter than this. Optimus walks at a speed of 2.24 meters per second, or around 5 miles per hour, and weighs approximately 57 kilograms, which is about 125 pounds. For dexterity, Tesla Optimus features 22 degrees of freedom in each hand, with an additional 4 in the forearm, giving it capable and smooth-moving fingers for precise object manipulation. Optimus has more degrees of of freedom in just its hands than the R1 has in its entire body. But interestingly, the R1 seems to be better in agility, like walking and running, than the Optimus robot, which is something we'll explain in the video once we get to the R1. Overall, Tesla Optimus has a total of 28 degrees of freedom throughout its body, which allows it to walk smoothly and even pull off some dance moves. When it comes to actuators, Tesla also uses custom in-house actuators. The system includes three types of rotary actuators and three types of linear actuators, each optimized for specific movement needs. This has helped the robot achieve a payload capacity of 20 kilograms, or about 44 pounds, meaning it can easily carry heavy items. The robot can locate and dock at charging stations autonomously. This is a feature only a few other companies, like One X Technologies and the Walker S, have demonstrated with the latter even swapping its own battery when running low, thanks to an externally charged swappable battery system. Another standout feature is multi-robot shared mapping, where Optimus bots build a collective understanding of their environment for faster navigation in factories. This capability could increase efficiency if multiple Optimus robots were deployed to run a factory floor. When it comes to the battery pack, it is housed in its torso for optimal weight distribution and accessibility, with a 2.3 kilowatt hour capacity that Tesla estimates is enough for a full day's work on a single charge. Optimus can also understand verbal communication and has a built in speaker for responding to voice commands and engaging in natural conversations. At present, it can autonomously hand over items upon request. Though Tesla doesn't always clarify when the robot is operating autonomously versus under teleoperation. For sensing, Tesla has integrated custom tactile sensors throughout the robot structure for more refined environmental interaction. The fingertips use metallic tendons that balance flexibility and strength vital for delicate handling. An in-hand controller manages finger actuation while processing sensory feedback in real time. The robot relies on multiple autopilot-grade cameras for visual perception, force feedback in its two axis feet for stability and terrain adaptation, and torque sensors in all joints for precise control and safety. At the core of Optimus is a modified version of Tesla's full self-driving technology, powered by a single Tesla system on chip. The robot uses camera-based perception without LiDAR and runs end-to-end -end neural networks for everything from visual processing to motion planning, enabling it to navigate autonomously, detect objects, and move in a human-like manner based on mapped human motion data. This same FSD-based neural network system has been adapted specifically for bipedal robots, optimized for navigation and manipulation tasks, giving Optimus a clear advantage in AI sophistication over the Unitry R1. Now, turning to the Unitry R1, it is immediately clear that this robot belongs in a different category. This new robot comes in multiple iterations, but here we are only focusing on the base model that costs $5,900. 
First of all, this robot has to be manually operated by a remote, and it doesn't come with autonomy. It has a compact design, standing at 1210 millimeters tall, 357 millimeters wide, and 190 millimeters thick, which is approximately 47.6 by 14 by 7.5 inches. The R1 is significantly smaller than the G1 and similar in size to the Booster T1, which is known to play football using its own AI without human control. It weighs just 25 kilograms, which contributes to its portability and ease of handling. The total number of degrees of freedom in the R1 is 26. That includes six in each leg, five in each arm, two at the waist, and two for head movement. To reduce cost, the R1 comes with fixed, non-dexterous hands. The hand remains in a clenched fist position and does not move, though you can buy functional hands separately. To keep costs down, Unitree didn't equip the R1 with high-end sensors. It uses a binocular camera system with an ultra-wide field of view instead of LiDAR or depth cameras. The R1 also uses a combination of single and dual encoders for joint position feedback. Joints with single encoders must have been introduced to cut down costs. In terms of cooling, it uses a local air cooling system. And for electrical routing, it has both hollow and internal routing to pass cables cleanly through the center of input-output shafts. In terms of the brain of the robot, it has a basic 8-core CPU with an unspecified GPU, which can support some autonomy in the robot once launched, maybe in the near future. It also has a 4-mic linear microphone array for voice interaction and dual 3-watt speakers for audio output. Connectivity is modern, offering Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2, and like other Unitree models, it supports over-the-air updates and carries an 8-month warranty. Finally, since this is the base model, it does not allow secondary development unless you upgrade to the EDU version. The robot's joints deliver a maximum torque of 2 kilograms, and it uses crossed roller bearings with double hook ball bearings. The joint motors are low inertia, high-speed internal rotor, the same type used in the G1. For power, it relies on a lithium battery that gives it a runtime of about one hour under optimal conditions. Charging is done separately and Unitree provides a smart battery with a quick release mechanism, making battery swaps easy. Batteries are also available for purchase. Since the R1 doesn't charge while plugged into the robot, it would have been impressive if it had a self-replacing battery like the Walker S, but the R1 is not autonomous yet and can't do that. Now comparing the two robots side by side, even though they might appear to have a similar height in demo videos, the Unitree R1 is actually about half a meter shorter than the Tesla Optimus. In terms of AI, Optimus is far ahead, and already it's capable of performing various tasks autonomously, while Unitree has not shown true autonomy on any of its robots, except for limited demonstrations at RoboCup 2025. But when it comes to agility, the R1 seems to shine. Watching it move, it's clear Unitree prioritized speed and fluidity over dexterous hands, which is why the R1 comes with fixed hands. Even so, its body has only about four fewer degrees of freedom than the Optimus robot. Given China's track record in developing highly agile robotics, Unitree likely optimized its actuators and joint efficiency to achieve smoother, faster movement, even running capabilities. One of the most notable similarities between the two robots is that both rely entirely on cameras for perception and do not use LiDAR. This design choice is partly driven by cost considerations, as LiDAR systems are expensive, but it also reflects a strategic push toward vision-based AI, which aims to interpret the world more like humans do. By using multiple high-resolution cameras placed around their bodies, both Tesla Optimus and Unitree R1 can detect objects, track motion, and navigate their environments without the bulky hardware or added cost of LiDAR sensors. In terms of availability, the Unitree R1 can already be purchased directly from the company's website. Unitree feels it's ready for consumers as it is. While Tesla has chosen not to release a half-finished product, they plan to mass-produce Optimus primarily for industrial use, and there's a high chance that it will be under teleoperation in the beginning until the autonomy is perfected. Overall, deciding which one is better depends on the intended use. Technically, the Tesla Optimus robot outclasses the R1 in a advanced AI, dexterity, and industrial applications. While the Unitree R1 wins in affordability, agility, and immediate availability, it's a great entry point for developers but lacks autonomy and advanced manipulation. But remember, these two robots are meant for different use cases. The R1 is aimed at casual users who want a friendly companion or a robot for light tasks, while Tesla is aiming for factory-level deployment. For consumers who want to own a humanoid robot today, the R1 is the easy choice, and you can expect software updates to make it better over time. Time. But for those willing to wait for a highly autonomous, industrial-grade humanoid, the Tesla Optimus will likely be worth it when it's ready.